Jamaica's Securities Regulatory Agency, the Financial Services Commission, is helping hundreds of investors in a failed investment company, UGI Finance and Investment Limited, understand their rights. Over 300 investors are yet to receive their money since the organization collapsed in January 2010 and went into voluntary liquidation. Rowan Barnett, the executive director of the Financial Services Commission, the FSC, advised scores of UGI creditors of their rights at a forum at Kingston's Conference Center on January 7, 2011. Barnett clarified to businesscontentjamaica.com the FSC's role in the matter at this time. Well, it's, it's twofold, really. I think the investors need to understand um, what the background is, what's gotten them to this point. Um, and the second issue is they need to understand their rights and what can happen going forward. Now, we were certainly alarmed by the reports that we saw of investors uh, you know, speaking to loss of significant capital and you know, years of savings gone, depleted, or we don't know what happened. And I think that's, that's, that's an unacceptable result at this point, particularly for investors who, in many respects, thought that they were investing in instruments that um, had been backed by a government paper. We asked Mr. Barnett whether the FSC was able to authenticate that there are funds to repay the investors. Last March, there was a meeting uh, among the uh, liquidator and creditors of the company where uh, one of the takeaways was that a valuation, an accounting would have been done of the assets that were on uh, UGI's books. Uh, we have yet to receive the results of that accounting. Um, we have yet to um, be updated as to what the valuation of the assets are. So uh, until we receive that information, obviously we won't be able to um, authenticate the quality of, of, of the assets as uh, has been reported to us. The Never Blythe-led UGI Finance and Investment Limited was formerly International Trust and Merchant Bank. Blythe, a former general insurance mogul, formerly had interests in a media company, the CVM Group, as well as the island's largest general insurance company, which was sold to Jamaican-Canadian billionaire Michael Leachin four years ago. Blythe's scaled-down current interests include a hotel in Kingston. For Business Content Jamaica, I'm Owen James.